Hello geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the mobile application development using Flutter video series and today's topic is how to display dynamic widgets. So let's start with the basic skeleton which we have created in every video with a scaffold and scaffold have a app bar. We will create a new app bar with title as widget.title and body which contains a column. And let's say I'll just put a new text as hello flutter. Before going further, uh, let's let me verify that this basic skeleton is working. So now it's working. Uh, so now I want that some dynamic widgets to come up over here. Let me create first a widget called alert dialog. So I'll just create new alert dialog and with title i'll put the title as let me put alert dialog itself let me go ahead and hot reload it and see the alert dialog has appeared over here now i don't want this alert dialog to appear in my app all the time i want it to appear as a result of some action for example let me create a button in the app bar if I press then alert dialog should be up should appear so first of all uh, for that I need to create a button in my uh, app bar so how I'll create a button in my app bar it's like I'll go to actions actions has widgets arrays array of widget and I can create a new icon button button and in the icon button I can I'll just rearrange it in the icon button i'll create a icon first for that button i'll say new icon icons dot add comment for example and on press uh, let me just give an empty implementation and when i go ahead and reload it uh, you can see this plus button appears over here now uh, it has to do something to make sure that this seller dialog is coming only when something is set to true so let me create a variable called show dialog which is initialized to false let comes to the body in the body i'll just use a ternary operator saying show dialog is equal to true if yes create a new alert dialog otherwise just create a dummy dummy entry now show dialog is false if i go ahead and do a hot reload you will see that alert dialog has gone which means that when i press it this on pressed will get called and i need to change the value as true over here in on pressed so i change it like true okay now if i go ahead and do this this value will change to true but nothing will be displayed because i need to do a set state to trigger a redraw so i am doing a set state and I'm changing the value as true over there. And let me just press it now. Now, when I press this button, alert dialog appears. Okay, so first problem solved. So far, so good, but I want something in the alert dialog also so that I can get rid of this. To do that, I'll create a button in the alert dialog. So, in the alert dialog, I'll, I'll just like I have, bar, I have actions in alert dialog also which takes array widget and inside that let me create a flat button okay in the flat button uh, let me title the flat button as uh, okay so in the flat button I'll title it as new text as okay on pressed I'll do a show dialog too false again okay and it will not work because i need to again trigger a redraw so what i will do i'll do a set state and inside the set state i change it to false so let me go ahead and reload it i got a ok button over here if i press it so it will go so if i again press it it will come and if i press it it, it will go press it again press it go now i wanted to have something more in this alert dialog let's say i want to add some text into the alert dialog how should i do that so i can do that by creating a content on alert dialog 
so i have a in the alert dialog i have actions and i have title let me come up with something called content in the content i can create a text field in the text field first of all some decoration uh, like what is the default text we can say new input decoration dot collapsed and text is add xyz for example and uh, i can also say in max number of lines in the text i say let's say three lines and i can say on submitted um, let me do something as of now it's fine and that's all so let me go ahead and just press the button again and i should get a text box also so if i put anything over here i will press ok i put here again xyz come ok and the ok it goes now let's say i want to have a alert dialog let me say if i write hello and press the ok button this text should be available here this text will be made available in the flat button only if we have a controller over here which is called text editing controller so let me create a text editing controller over here so i can do anything with it or i can even clear the text clear dot clear as of now so if i just print hello done i say again it's clear i print here then here so that's all for this particular video in the next in the next video we'll be um, we'll be seeing how to build the widgets itself dynamically uh, till then thanks a lot thanks for watching